Actually, I'm pretty impressed by what this does. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to review this Calvin Klein Escape from Men. I've smelled a lot of Calvin Klein fragrances. They've always been a very general, likable smell, but I haven't really found one that's really wowed me or really one that I could recommend highly on my list. Could have sworn someone suggested that I pick up CK Escape from Men. So I'll go ahead and search my comments and see if someone did suggest this to me and I just decided to pull the trigger. This is actually a pretty old fragrance. I was actually surprised that I haven't heard of it or if I have smelled it, I don't remember that I have. I think it came out in 1992 if not i'll correct it down below so there is a lot of notes to this fragrance but overall this fragrance is somewhat simple in my opinion it's really not as complex as it sounds here but the notes are melon eucalyptus mango grapefruit juniper bergamot sea notes birch fir cypress rosemary sage oak moss vetiver sandalwood amber and patchouli. To me, I get this banana musk kind of smell. And it's not like a, a musk, like an Abercrombie & Fitch, fierce, like dirty, like strong style musk. I don't even know if it's technically musk what I'm smelling, but just a general manly backbone musk type fragrance that kind of dances around what smells like to me is banana and it's some um, CK Escape. So I, when I think of Escape, I think of tropical and I haven't really smelled too many things with banana. I think Popeye Eau Fraiche maybe had a little bit of a banana vibe, but besides that, I haven't really smelled banana and too many other things. And again, banana isn't listed in the notes here. So I'm guessing it's kind of like the melon and the mango that I'm smelling. What I smell as musk might be the fur, the oak moss, things like that. It's got a very masculine backbone, but it's probably been reformulated quite a bit because I think this came out in like 1992. I mean, as you know, if, if a fragrance has been out for like five years, it's been reformulated for sure. In my opinion, the pros are it is somewhat different because to me, it smells a little bit like banana. It smells a little bit like something I haven't smelled before. So it's going to be better in the hot weather it's got a nice um, tropical smell it's cheap and affordable it's just overall pretty likable and pretty different maybe you guys have smelled it a lot again it's been out since 1992 so a lot of people have had a lot of time to smell it I actually was really surprised how likable it is how different it is and i really like that it has kind of like a banana style musk because i don't really have anything with that tropical kind of smell in there for the cons it's a little bit simple and it has average longevity and projection but maybe you could even say it's not as good in the winter besides that it really doesn't have that many weaknesses the projections average and it is a tiny bit simple but overall i've been kind of impressed by what it does and then also i think i wore this it was either in the, the high heat or the high cold and it had um, what i smelled as more of a objecty sandalwood style vibe it definitely had a little bit of a, another vibe besides the banana musk that i was smelling i did smell a little bit of a robust sandalwood kind of smell which i also did enjoy that i didn't get right off the bat but overall really not too much bad things to say about this this is an average projector and if it projected a little bit more this actually might be in my list and again it's not a bad projector but when i have so many good fragrances that project pretty strong and pretty high little things like it having just okay just slightly above average projection kind of knocks it down a little bit but if i were to give this a smell rating guys i'd give this a solid eight actually i'm pretty impressed by what this does like it has a little bit of a different kind of tropical smell it doesn't really smell very cheap it is kind of light and likable but also when you get more into it it does have a little complexity like i said it did smell a little bit different when i think it was in the cold it smelled like kind of this object like sandwood vibe that i didn't get any of the other times i was testing it i tested this for about five days or so but the smell i'd give it an eight out of ten likability it's probably its strongest point is its likability i'd give it an eight and a half out of ten i like it i think most people would like it a lot of people i've talked to kind of like lighter smells and they don't want an over overpowering super cloney kind of smell so this one is just lighter easy to like just overall likable really good 8.5 and then longevity and projection i'd probably give this a 7 to a 7.5 it's right down the middle to me it doesn't seem bad but it doesn't seem great either but just overall right down the middle 7 to a 7.5 i'm on the fence of whether i should recommend that you pull the trigger on this right now um if you like it what i'm saying i do recommend trying it out because it is pretty nice with that banana style musk it is different it is cheap i forget how much i paid for it online but i think it was about 20 dollars. so super super affordable so let me know what you think of ck escape let me know what your favorite calvin klein fragrance is and let me know any other cheap fragrances that i should pull the trigger try out right now and get a review out there if we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers we are almost there and it's all because of you guys thank you guys so so much i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace